Welcome, welcome Virgos. Welcome to Kiki's Doorway. Let's see what your soulmate wants to understand for November 5th to November 7th, 2018. God, Gaia, God, Goddess, Mother, Father. What does Mr. Miss Virgo want to physically take in action from November 5th to November 7th. What does masculine and feminine Virgo soulmate want to take in action? Masculine Virgos, you and your soulmate have met in the ethers. You were once angels. You're angels now, but your soulmate has met you as an angel. In this life, you are the anchor and apple, and you give great direction for people that come to you for that essence, that angelic essence that you and your soul may carry with you. Female Virgos, you and your soulmate has met in a past life as healers, as people that knew the remedy to any heartache, to any pain, whether it be physical, you knew how to heal that, whether it be mental, you knew how to heal that naturally. Spiritual, you knew how to replenish it. This is what you and your soulmate were in the past and still are in this present life. Females, okay, is telling me to look at the, oh, the snake. Oh, that makes sense. Scorpio. So masculine, feminine, female Virgos, your soulmate, whether it be the opposite sex, masculine, or the same sex, your soulmate can or might have water in a chart, whether it be, I feel, Scorpio has given you, or maybe this is you, maybe you have water in your chart. Virgo's opposite sign is Pisces, so you are natural healers, but you heal internationally as well. Okay, so your opposite signs are Pisces. So you have met to many lands with your soulmate and healing people before we got doctors, before we have gotten dentistry and in nutrition, you were the instrument, you were the organizer of how to get our bodies, minds, and spirit in shape, and how to have a productively work for us and not against us. That's what you and your soulmate have in common in this life. So your soulmate might be in the arena of nutrition, or yoga, or Kama Sutra, or Tantric, or holistic doctor or acupuncture any place you feel miss virgo to move towards when it comes to health that's where you will be reconnecting with your soulmate or when you do reconnect this is what you will be understanding about each other and can and can bond with i say that wow Whenever you get a chance, Mr. and Miss Virgos, look at Taurus and Scorpio's reading. Because Taurus had this under the masculine. Or was it the female? Could have been on the feminine side as well. And Scorpio had this within the feminine side too. But it was 
for both for both masculine and feminine Taurus and Scorpio. Whenever you get a chance, Miss Virgos and Mr. Virgo, check out their reading. They will get it will give you a um more detail or more understanding of what you and your soulmate are physically enduring or be physically embarking on. Masculine Virgos, your soulmate, including yourself, are becoming the king of water. And yes, your opposite sign is Pisces. So you're all about the venture. But this time, you and your soulmate are seeing how to be angels for yourself. What does that mean? How do you want to exude the angel within you to you? You're tapping into your emotions because King of Water is all about emotions and intuition. So if you were worried about is your intuition or your emotions stable or enough it, it is so much enough that you and your soulmate are angels so moving forward have trust in that masculine virgo your soulmate is doing this as well compassion you're being respected people around you may not say that at first but they're going to come to you and show you through their emotions and through their intuition on what they feel is needed to be addressed or talked about with you for example what if people around you mr virgo have never told you how they value your adventure how they value your strength how they value your tenacity how they value your organization skills how they even value your drive i mean you are very energetic to the point where we think you're 10 people in one body just saying that to you I don't know if you have ever had someone speak to you in that manner. You're going to be getting and receiving people to come to you when they get that that compassion from you and that cultured um, wisdom that you possess. People will be coming out with their compassion towards you. And this is going towards your soulmate. You and your soulmate are going to become more open-hearted. And you're opening your heart and mind to those around you. And that could be very difficult for Virgo. Sometimes you might want to open your heart, but not your mind. Sometimes you might want to do your mind, but not your heart. But to have both of them in sync, like the next, your next brother and sister's house, which is the house of Libra, the seventh house, you possess the scales as well. You are Anubis. You are the person that also understands what it means to have a soul or your heart light as a feather. What does it mean to you to have your heart light as a feather, masculine Virgos? This is what you and your soulmate are going to understand and will be illustrating. So have trust that you and your soulmate have accumulated trustworthy people and trustworthy situations in your life. People want to give you that heartfelt advice or just heartfelt notions of love, of gratitude. So take that with a, just receive it, take it. And, and mold on, uh, bathe in it. That is going to be your healing water, masculine t Virgo. Miss Virgo, your soulmate, including you, are becoming the house of Capricorn. You are becoming the boss of your life. Whether it be if you are having issues with financial, your financial is going to be stable. If you had questions about the home, your home life, that's going to be stabilized. And it's going to bring in more stability. In fact, when it comes to your family, your friends, how you become or befriend yourself, it's going to be very anchored to you. You and your soulmate are seeing and painting not only the picture of what it will look like, but you're physically becoming that picture in which you have illustrated. So... Now that you know that you are that illustration, you are going to have that very happy family life. You and your soulmate are going to have financial security, become more solidified and stable. And you're seeing, and your soulmate is seeing the, the magic in life. Waking up was magic enough, right? But we, didn't, we sometimes might overlook that. Knowing that you can make your Eden right now or your oasis right now with who you are, Let's you know right then and there that you have magic. Because if you were to tell people what you really would have to do to accumulate this even more, we would have to tell you you are a magician. Or we would think that, are you from the Maya, Aztec, 
world because, or if I had to translate that, or what I'm not trying to be a stereotypical person. But we always see um, people of foreign lands when they come to America, because I'm in America, they make their dreams a reality, no matter what people say. And let's be clear, foreigners or immigrants, they would have the worst because they're literally starting from the bottom. They're making nothing into something. Nothing for nothing leaves nothing. You about to have something if you want to get with them. Yeah. So uh, they're hard workers and they're just like their ancestors before them. And your ancestors before you and your past life, you are builders, female Virgos. And so is your soulmate. What are you building will be up to you. Yes, definitely look at the Taurus and Scorpio reading. Now, this is something they didn't have, though. Mm, interesting. So, Virgos, masculine, your soulmate is, before they become that go-getter, and before they step out in their own way, in their own path, in their own direction, they're going to go within, you would think, they, they, they're just like you, Virgo. They're the hermit. So they're going to go within. They're going to have to sleep on this. They might have to meditate. They might have to take some walks. Might have to drive. Might have to listen to some music. Anything to get them in the state of understanding, oh, I am my self-fulfilling prophecy. So whatever I feel will manifest. So they don't want to manifest toxic water. They want to manifest pure water. Like the water boy. He didn't bring no imperfect water. He had purified water that that sacred water and that's what you and your soulmate masculine virgos are going to be doing and how you're going to communicate with yourself is seeing communication might be stemming into how you see things as the worst so now you're going to be giving yourself positive self-talk especially your soulmate you're giving yourself positive self-talk because you're compassionate your soulmate is cultured you are cultured so for that, yeah, come on, you're like the James Bond, Mission Impossible. You, you're cultured. You're cultured. That's like Tomb Raider. They, that takes culture. You know, these characters were, they didn't stay in one location, they traveled. And they understood that in order for them to have that character, the names, the movies that I just mentioned, people seen them as angels. So remember that when you're moving in your new direction to give yourself some credit cut yourself some slack okay cut yourself some slack because from the nine you're about to go to the ten and that's when you're completing everything so you just got one more one more step and one more flight of stairs i know it's heavy i know if it can be tiresome if you got to stop for a minute take a breath do everything that you feel will make you calm again. If that means take a drink, take, take a walk, box, jumping jacks, go on to sleep. Maybe you need to go to sleep. Take a nap. I don't think as a human beings, the only time I've heard that is when we were little. Take a nap. We hated that crap. Now, <laughs> it's now paradise for us if we could even get a nap in so if that means you get in the nap or forcing yourself to take those naps please do because that would eliminate the sleepless nights masculine virgos female virgos this is what your soulmate is going through too so don't feel like you're the only one that's having the sleepless nights masculine virgos your soulmate as well Female Virgos, you are and your soulmate are becoming the queen of fire. What does that mean to be a queen of fire? They say confident. It's all about the willpower coming outside of yourself, being a zood of the sun. You're exuding the sun, Miss Cap. <laughs> Again, Miss Capricorn, you are the ten of earth, so you are the house of Capricorn. And as you are stepping into that house of Capricorn, you're becoming even more fiery. You're becoming very warm. Very warm. Is that what it took for you to recognize that you are the boss? Once you see that you are the boss, female Virgos, and your soulmate is seeing that they too are the walk, are the boss for real. Not saying, oh, I'm a boss and you're not walking that life, but really 
planting and stepping in the role of a boss. You and your soulmate are becoming very passionate. Very, you're bringing out your intellect. And your intellect is very useful when it comes to your secret knowledge or your sacred knowledge of health remedies or health solutions. So now, stretch your wings, Miss Virgo. Become the virtue that you are. Don't underestimate yourself. Your soulmate is not going to underestimate themselves. Yes, if you're concerned about your ego, hey, you got an ego. Okay? You got an ego. If you didn't have an ego, then you wouldn't be Michael. Uh, if I, okay, I'm just putting this as an example. I believe Janet, Michael is the Virgo, right? Michael Jackson by Zodiac is a Virgo. If I had to give an example to you, Miss, Miss Virgo, and to your soulmate, even to the masculine Virgos, you... If we had to say, what would make people say I'm an angel? Well, look at Michael Jackson. Even his name, and I do namesakes, even his first name, Michael, tells you that he is an angel in human form. His name is an angel name, is it not? Just like Gabriel, just like Raphael. These are angel names. If you have a name that is an angel name, so this will definitely tell you, for one, you're definitely going towards your mission. Even if you don't have a name, for example, like Michael or an a angel name. People see you as an angel, Miss Virgos. And we see Michael Jackson as an uh, angel in human form. And what he did while he was here healed the world. It reminded us that we still have childlike innocence and that we are children of God. Whether you want to say children of Allah, whether you want to, whether you want to say children of Yahweh, whether you want to say children of Elohim, whether you want to say children of Buddha, whether you, whether you want to say children of Kalima, whether you want to say children of atheism, whether you want to say children of Gnostic, whether you want to say children of pagan, it does not matter. We are children of our source. We are that fallen angel. And through your fiery will and your understanding like your soulmate, you too are seeing that you hold and assert independence and creativity. So if you are wanting to bring out your creative projects, female Virgos and soulmate, do that. The more you bring out your creativity, the more you will not only be connected to your soulmate, but you will be connected to other soulmates as well. Soulmate is just not the ones we want to marry and want to have as boyfriend and girlfriend. Soulmate is our soul connected to another soul. That could be in the form of a teacher. That could be a form of a stepmother. That could be in the form of a stepfather. That could be in the form of a grandmother, grandfather, mother, father. Anyone that your soul resonates with and that soul resonates with you equally, equally, you're going to be igniting it as one flame. So we meet again, Mr. and Miss Virgos. You are victory. You are virtues. And we learned how to understand virtues through you. Now is the time to step into your virtue to have it work for you. Because you are that fire and you are that water and you are that earth. You are, just by looking at the cards, you are looking like the emperor and empress right now. So stand in that. If you like what you have heard and seen, um, if my reading resonates with you or truly, truly connects with you, press the like button, subscribe button, share this video with others that can really use this message right now. I always leave a paragraph, uh, a compass, or um, a, a golden nugget for us to simmer on after the reading in the description box below. Whenever you get that chance, look in the description box below. I love you, Mr. and Miss Virgos. We will see you on the other side.